Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. I'm back again with another video, except this time I have something special. Me and my friends built a catapult for our physics project. And as you can see, it's pretty cool. It's not as big as we could have made it because we had to be in a 60 by 60 centimeter box like measurement which is why it's important that we measured our catapult properly so it would be exactly 60 centimeters which was very difficult honestly I wish they would have made it bigger but then you know what if we made a huge ginormous catapult it wouldn't work like that but anyway, let me explain to you the mechanics of our catapult before we launch this in the air. And you won't believe how far this goes. First off, we used a wooden structure as our base. Obviously, we have the two sides right here. And we have our main base down here. And we have these two wooden blocks as stoppers that create a 45 degree angle which maximizes this catapult's range. And this is important because of the 45 degree angle and the hypotenuse it creates due to sine and cosine. But anyway, I'll leave the math to you as I'm not no mathematician. But here we have our PVC pipe which we used as the launcher for our catapult. And here underneath our stopper we have one of those pool noodles that you can find at the dollar store. And we use this to support and cushion so it doesn't create a big like bang. Basically, it's to make it easier on the catapult. You know, we don't want to hurt the baby catapult, obviously. But here we have an adapter right here. And we have our coupling right here. And it's attached with cement, which is this purple thingy, which we accidentally spilled all over our garage. But we don't talk about that part. And here we have these PVC pipes over here tied together with zip ties on these eye hooks on the side. And obviously our structure has a base made out of nails. And right here we have three PVC pipes, or sorry, not PVC, elastic pipes. And then down here we have four to maximize the amount of pressure and tension we create to maximize the initial velocity and create a greater range because obviously the greater initial velocity we have, the greater range it will go because it will go faster speeds. And then next, down here we have a metal rod right here which acts as a support barrier and the thing that will hold together our catapult as well. And down here we have some bigger nails over here to stop this thing from sliding too much and to get a better aim. And over here we have nails as stoppers so this rod doesn't slip and fly out and then that would be a disaster if that did happen. And overall this is our catapult. Down here we have a stopping mechanism. It's not the best stopping mechanism but it works pretty well. And then we also have this nail down here which is just not a nail but more of an eye hook which ties it all together. And in the description I'll give you guys the dimensions of this coupling and the dimensions of these pipings that we have over here. And anyway, this is our bad boy. This is our catapult that we and my friends built. It took effort. It took hard work. But we got it and after so many different tries we finally did this. I mean for this part right here it was impossible to find something that wouldn't bust the water balloons that we were going to use to launch our catapult. And this catapult has a lot of tension so it takes a lot of effort to pull it down as you can see. And it's when we release it it kind of bangs out. And here right in a moment when we do our release each square tile of our sidewalk we measured is around five feet so if we measure how many square tiles that it goes so for example this right here is five feet then we have another five here so this in total would be ten feet and the goal of this catapult is to launch at least ten meters which is 36 feet and nine inches but you won't believe that this catapult almost goes more than that, almost goes 50 plus feet. And I promise you that if you build this catapult, you will have a 
catapult that launches extremely far. But what I want you to take note of is that the farther you pull back the catapult, the more tension and the more velocity initially is created, which is why it will go further. But the less you throw this catapult, the less that it will move forward. So I'm going to tell you that. So if you're testing it in class and you need it to go a specific amount, you need to specifically hinder the pullback to a certain amount so it goes further. Also, it depends on what object you're using to throw. For example, if you throw a water balloon with more mass, which is bigger, it goes further due to its mass and because of air and resist air resistance and stuff like that. But if we use something that's lighter, it's not going to go very far. And if we use a ball, then you're going to get a bigger range, but not because it went far, because it bounced and rolled. But with a water balloon, you will know exactly how far it goes. And obviously, it has a lot of tension. And it's going to take a team effort to do. So first, I recommend taking the water balloon. And I recommend pulling it back. And then... Make sure not to kill yourself. And then look how far that went. Everybody count with me. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. I promise you that with this catapult, you're going to be the best physics person in your class. You're going to be the next Newton. You're going to be the next physicist. No, you're not going to be Oppenheimer, but you're going to be a good physicist. Maybe they won't make a movie about you, and maybe you won't have to compete with the Barbie movie, but you will be the next physicist with this are gonna be in shock because look how far that is and look where I am now it went so fast and it went so far and if you build this project I hope you get a hundred in fact I hope you get a hundred and ten thank you for watching this video be sure to subscribe and like to my channel and be sure to check out my YouTube not my YouTube, I'm sorry. Check out my website, ayananoma.com and buy my books as well on Amazon so you can support me and the so difficult effort I went into building this catapult. This catapult took money, y'all. I need money. You need to buy my books so I can get some revenue to fill my bank accounts with the amount of expenses this catapult took. You don't want to see my Home Depot receipt, honestly. But anyway, I hope you all do well. I'll be sure to subscribe and like this video and check out my other videos. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, future physicists.